What's up everyone, Simulator Shane here. Today I want to show you some video of dismantling the engine instrument gauge cluster. So now that I've got the hobby servos hooked up to the computer through the Arduino, I need to work on how to physically mount the servos into the cockpit. So I decided to take apart this engine cluster because it can't be used in its current form and I need to get the instrument faceplates out, clean them up and get everything ready to rebuild connected to the computer. So this is what the instrument module actually looks like. There's six of them in this assembly and they basically attach through these two bolts on the back. The bolts serve two purposes. They hold the instrument module into the actual assembly and they provide the electrical connections for the various signals that need to come into the gauge. So it's pretty cool to see what actually goes on behind the scenes because as a pilot flying the real aircraft, all you see is the faceplate and the needles moving to show the correct indications and not what goes on behind the scenes to actually make that happen. So now that all the gauges are out of the assembly, I can work on designing a bracket that holds the servos inside the case in the same location with the faceplate attached just beneath the surface so that from the outside it looks like the real gauge. The wires you can see that are left installed in the assembly are for the backlighting. There's two bulbs and they provide light so they can read the instrument faces at night time. So here you can see me testing the bulbs and as you can see both the bulbs illuminated. So it's just like the chronometer, positive 12 volts goes to the wire which goes to the bulbs and then you ground out the power supply against the case which closes the circuit and the bulbs come on. The last thing I did was restore the face plates. So I basically just cleaned off all the dirt and dust that made them look all old and grimy. And I think the result turned out pretty good. They looked pretty nice. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time.